Holy and blessed Jesus Christ, the perfect radiance of the eternal Heavenly Father, who enlightens us with joy. As dusk draws in upon us and the evening lights appear, we sing our praise-filled hymns to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Son of God, you deserve that every age joyfully sing your praise, for you give life. So all the world gives to you its glory. Yet as we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness, and so together we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, Calm me, O Lord, as you stilled the storm. Still me, O Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold us, Lord, within your peace. Before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word, and tonight we listen to Psalm 68, verses 32 to 35, where we read, Sing to God, all earthly nations. Compose music in praise of the Lord, for he is exalted over the heavens. His voice resounds over all, and he gives strength to his people. Worldly power often seems impregnable. It seems like that. It seemed like that in the in the psalmist's day too. But there was one with authority that far exceeded every earthly power. And he it is who is for us, his people. Lord God. Amid the reality of overarching human might, we recognize there is one to whom all are subject. And he empowers us, his people, in the face of every enemy. I will lie down this night with God, and God will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with Christ, and Christ will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with the Spirit, and the Spirit will lie down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit be lying down with me. Thus may the peace of all peace be ours tonight and every night. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.